What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. I'm Johnny Q. Woo! As you can tell, nothing new here. It is snowing once again. It actually died down, but like this morning, <laughs> it was just pound, pound, pounding snow like all morning long. And it's another winter advisory warning, like schools are shut down, roads are closed, the whole bit, you know. Like, I love the snow, but sometimes it just sucks. You're like, Johnny, what are you doing out in the cold? What are you doing in the middle of a road when it's snowing? Glad you asked. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get buttery, buttery, smooth, slow motion. And if you're like me, I love cinematic sequences. I love B-roll shots with some slow motion. It's just, mmm. And like, I'm finally learning how to do that myself. I'm like, yo, why am I being selfish? Let me teach you guys. Let me show the audience, my viewers, how they could do the exact same thing. So, if you wanna learn how to do this, and even something like this, maybe some shots like these. You're like, yeah, I want those shots. How do you do that? I'm gonna teach you a couple of ways and a couple of tools that I use to get all that buttery, smooth, slow motion film. Stick around, cause it's gonna be well worth it. I promise you. Roll that intro video. Okay, well that was a blast. Don't judge me, it's just me, my drone, the camera, and this car. I have no one else to take B-roll footage of me. Let's go learn how to do this thing. Back to the studio. That was amazing. I freaking love B-roll. Like, I love slow motion. I haven't said it enough, I'm gonna keep on saying it probably until the rest of life. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you a couple of the tools and techniques that I use to create that slow motion. And even if your clips are kind of jittery a little bit, how you can smooth those out in post. So let's get started. So side note here, but in order to actually film really good slow motion, what you want to do is film in 60 frames a second, which will allow you to actually slow it down even further. What I typically like to do is find a focal point of where I wanna stop the clip and actually make it go into slow motion. So if we click here, I want the camera to pan down, but as it's panning down, I want to stop it. And then I want it to resume into slow motion. Find that sweet spot. Like I, I look at all those snowflakes coming down, like right there maybe. So let's say for a sec, I cut it right there. So I press C for cut, I highlight the second part. And this is where, this is where it begins. So what I do is I highlight, right click, and what I mainly do, if I'm gonna put music behind my clips, I'm gonna do negative 96, just so there's no, no sound creeping in. So if I play it, no sound here so I can put music. Actually, let's just do it to this side as well. Boom. And so this is regular speed over here, and this is my slow motion part. Now, I haven't done it in slow motion yet, but that's just the part, this is the part of the click that I'm gonna separate to bring into slow motion. So what I do is this. I, I highlight it, I right click, and then I go into speed duration. Now because I filmed this in 60 frames a second, I can go down all the way to 50. You could do 60, like 60% 60 of the speed. Uh, you can bring your speed up to 50% and that is gonna give you some really smooth flow motion. I will press okay. And if we go back to our clip here, Boom, there it is. We, what we have to do, because this footage is kind of jittery, what we have to do is stabilize it. I think that I use that's really helped me like blend all my slow motion. Highlight the clip, right click. You wanna go into, under time interpolation and then go under optical flow. And then what you wanna do when it's red, that means you gotta render it. So you press enter, 
it's gonna render, and boom, we're done. And now you can see it's screen, that means it's activated. Before I go back to the clip, I play it. We can tell it's a whole lot smoother. So we play it back, boom, super slow motion. It's got that buttery, smooth goodness that we want, that we're looking for. And this is without using warp stabilizer. So this is just another tool, another technique that you can have in your back pocket and whip it out when you don't want to use warp stabilizer. Warp stabilizer can get too wobbly in your slow motion footage. So if you want to just blend those frames together to make it really smooth in the end, use time interpolation, go to optical flow. It works. It's a dream and I freaking love it. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Will you use in time interpolation optical flow? Is it helpful? I mean, I have found it to be very helpful and very useful. I wanna know what you think. And as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you will, in 2019, would you please hit that bell on my channel, like this video, and share it to others. And also, if you haven't, please subscribe. Would love to have some more subscribers on this channel. I would love to create more of a community and get to know you guys. So thanks for watching. I'm Johnny Q, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. You know, actually, this would have been a really good Pro Tip Tuesday video. Oh, man.